Hey listeners, a few days ago, I checked in, let you all know that I needed a vacation. And so that's why there's been some inconsistency with the podcast over the last few weeks. I had every intention to bring you some new episodes from this week onwards. And then I got COVID for the first time. I started feeling ill a couple of days ago, and it's really hit me hard today. So I apologize if my voice isn't greatly listenable today, but I'm a man of my word and I didn't want to leave you without any content. So while I don't have an interview podcast today, there is a topic that I wanted to talk about and that's core web vitals. I'm not going to go into detail about what core web vitals are. I think we've covered that in previous podcasts and I can link to some further reading in the show notes. I'm assuming, particularly for the more seasoned marketers out there, the experienced marketers, even those that are newer to the industry, Core Web Vitals is probably on your radar and you have a familiarity with what it is, what they are. But there's one aspect of Core Web Vitals performance, scores, assessments that I think a lot of people are getting wrong. And I say that from experience. I think we mismanaged it, our approach to it as an agency. And so I wanted to share my thoughts in this episode about the management of core web vitals in businesses, in particular, who should be responsible for it. So in our agency, as soon as Google started to release information about core web vitals, which maybe was 18 months, two years ago at this point, that information was primarily picked up by our then senior SEO analyst. And it's largely because Google shared that this would have an impact on organic performance. So in our agency, what happened is our senior SEO analyst picked up on this information. He was the one that took responsibility for communicating core web vitals, what they were, and how they were going to impact organic search. And he communicated that to the rest of the people in our agency. And I saw a very similar thing across other agencies, other disciplines, peers, partners. Call Web Vitals was picked up. Perhaps the responsibility for monitoring what Call Web Vitals are and communicating about them was given to the SEO person in the company. In my experience, the reason for that is because whenever Google says, hey, this thing is going to have a ranking impact, the community, the SEO community goes crazy. They fixate on it. Um, rightly so, because Google doesn't release too much information about known ranking factors. But in this scenario, perhaps it was to the detriment to the true intent of what Core Web Vitals are, which is all based in improving user experience. And I feel like that was lost. It was definitely lost early on in our company. And I think it was lost in other companies too. When I frame Core Web Vitals, for me, Core Web Vitals are just a starting point for assessing user experience. They are some fundamental user experience factors related to speed and how things render. And so I don't think that the responsibility of Core Web Vitals should be given or should have been given historically to the SEO person in the company in the first instance. And I don't think now that SEO professionals are the best people to necessarily manage Core Web Vitals. In my experience, I think most FCO professionals will have limited ability to make significant change to core web vitals. And that's because the level of development need needed to change things like hosting, scripts, typically doesn't fall into the realm of most SEOs. Now, there are particularly technical orientated SEO engineers, SEO professionals out there that also cross over into this development territory. And that's great. And if you're a company and you have a technical orientated SEO person, you don't have anyone else responsible for development or user experience in your company. That's a situation where the management of core web vitals makes sense to go to the SEO person. However, in most companies, I don't think that's the case. I think you're going to have a development team. I think that you're going to have a user experience personal team. And I think that the management of core web vitals is better sat within a user experience team. And that's because... Improved organic performance is a byproduct of improvement to core web vitals. But core web vitals themselves are just a way to frame the fundamentals of user experience. So I've been going through this process in our agency to explain my views on core web vitals and move it across from what was previously our creative team, where SEO sat, into our measurement and insight team, where user experience sits. I found over the last 18 months, I've seen the frustration of marketers being aware of poor 
core web vitals performance, but being frustrated with una- being unable to impact the performance because it sits typically in more development territory. There are some, of course, you'll all be aware, fundamental things that you can do, which are more front end, perhaps items like image optimization and deciding which hosting company to work with and finding a fast host. Perhaps that is within the comfort zones of some SEO professionals and marketers, but not all. And I think if you're a business owner or perhaps if you're managing a marketing team, Really, the goal of this episode is to say, well, think carefully about who you give this work to and make sure you understand it yourself, because I think it can lead to a lot of frustration. Let's say that you're a business owner or you're a marketing manager. You mistakenly assign the responsibility for improving core web vitals to the SEO professional. Well, they're likely unable to make a lot of progress on their own. They're going to need the support of a developer, a development team and perhaps UX professionals. And so if you have those professionals in your team, my advice is to delegate the management and monitoring of Core Web Vitals to your user experience team and understand that organic search performance improvements are a byproduct of your improvement to Core Web Vitals. I'm interested to know your thoughts if you're listening. Have you experienced this frustration of perhaps giving Core Web Vitals improvements to your agency or to your SEO professional in your team and then struggling with understanding why they're not able to make an impact? Are you struggling with the additional development impact that this has? Do you agree or disagree with me? Do you think it should be an SEO professional's job to improve Core Web Vitals performance? And really, it highlights a need for the future SEO to be more technical in nature or for there to be T-shaped SEO engineers in your team. Perhaps you're still struggling with the management of Core Web Vitals and the fact that there is a bit of a grey area about who should be responsible for it. Let me know your thoughts. Message us on Twitter at Site Visibility or you can email me scott.colnut at sitevisibility.com. Let me know if you like this format for a podcast today. It's been forced. I needed to do a podcast in this way. I wanted to deliver you some content. But I kind of like this format, and I think it's a good thing to intersperse perhaps with our interview episodes. I'm going to stop recording now. I'm going to go get myself better. I can't promise right now. We know COVID is pretty volatile. I can't promise I'll be back next week with an interview episode. I need to get myself better. But hopefully I can get better well enough to do another one of these solo episodes if necessary. I'm wishing you all good health. I'm wishing you all good Cool Web Vitals performance. I'm wishing you all a good week. Take care. This has been the Internet Marketing Podcast.